Hi, welcome to another Becca Art Space. Today I'm going to use some of the things that we've done in the past, particularly when we did the little drawings using patterns. And we're going to do a picture. I'm using the topic of sea and water. But if you don't want to do what I do, you can always take some of the ideas that I'll show you in this video and then make your own picture. So today I'm going to do a picture of the sea and I'm going to start by doing the horizon. The horizon is the top of the sea or the land, the place you can see where it joins the sky. And I'm just going to do a shape which looks like waves. I'm using a dark blue colour. Those are my waves. And then I'm going to do, with a different blue, a line, the same shape, wavy line. And it's going to go across the picture, different angle. So this one's going up. And then I'm going to do another one. And this one's going down. So we're going to get almost like a zigzag of wavy lines. This one's going up again. And they join up. So we're using some of the ideas that we did in the previous video with patterns. And we're going to do lines to make patterns that look like water. It doesn't matter if they cross over, it doesn't matter if they join up. So now I'm going to get a dark pen, the same color as that top line first, and I'm going to do some other lines inside, but I'm going to make them go into patterns. And it doesn't matter where you do the patterns, you could do different patterns. You could do circles and dots, lines, straight lines. I'm just doing curly lines because they look like waves. So at the moment it just looks like I'm doing patterns, but actually I'm going to put in some more lines like this. And then gradually fill up the space with lots of different lines. So the whole picture will be covered with lines like this. And this is what's going to make the pattern that makes it look like water. changing to a different colour. Perhaps you'd like to put some fish in the water. I'm making some very simple fish shapes and then I'm going to put the patterns of the waves around them.
Now that you've done the water, you can think about what you want to do above the water. I'm going to give you several different ideas that you could try. And of course, as I said earlier, you can do your own idea. You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to copy me because you can think of your own ideas. So first of all, I'm going to do a sun rising above the water. And how about trying some different ideas for things that you could put in your picture? I'm going to give you two more ideas here in this video. I wonder what else you can think of. I'm going to draw a lighthouse. I wonder if you know what a lighthouse is. It's a very tall building with a light on the top that shines out to sea, particularly at night, and shows people who are in boats where it is safe to travel. It shows them where the land is, and it shows them if there are any dangerous rocks in the ocean so that they can avoid them. Just in case you don't like the idea of doing C, I've given you another idea here. And I'm using different greens and yellows, and we're going to do some fields. So I'm going to start with um, a dark green, and I'm going to do a similar shape to the waves. like that and this time instead of doing wavy lines I'm going to do straighter lines and I'm actually going to start do them diagonally across the page like this 
And maybe I'm going to put one there. It doesn't matter if they're not straight. And then I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do it across. So those ones are going to be smaller and then a little bit wider and wide like that. So you've got almost squares. Now remember those designs that I showed you where you do patterns and shapes inside the, the square? So you're going to do something like that. I'm going to start with darker colours in the background because they're far away and then getting lighter coming forward. And I'm going to do, I think on this one, I'm just going to do lines. If you look in the fields at the moment, you see lots of lines of green where the farmers have planted their seeds and then the crops are growing. So that's what this is like. You could even get a pencil and colour in with a pencil and then you can still see the lines from the pen. But it looks like it's green all over. Now because some of the fields don't have anything that's growing in them, I'm going to use brown on the next one and I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put brown in the background um, this time I'm going to do some different shapes for this box to find a brown pen and this one I'm going to do wiggly looks like the farmer has been ploughing one I'm going to do circles. So you're going to go through the whole picture and do that. Think of different patterns, maybe looking, maybe making it look like fields with things growing in and then fill the whole picture, all the different boxes. <laughs> 